Hello and welcome friends. I am here with a new tutorial series Cartoon Character Rigging in Autodesk Maya 2018. By the end of this tutorial series, you will be able to rig your own cartoon character. So let's start. So at first, uh, make sure you put your character exactly in the middle of the grid and also make sure that your workspace is set to rigging mode from here this one and on the right side i have a layer named cartoon body so in this layer i have cartoon body correct in this lesson we will create a bone setup for this character so for this first i go to side view and go to skeleton and create joints so go to settings and uh, reset the tool and start creating joints so first joint uh, will be here let me press 4 to see wireframe mode so that I may see through this character so first joint will be here it will be pelvis joint and second joint will be here knee joint third here for ankle then for heel it's ball joint and last toe joint press enter so i can't see my bone setup through this body so go to shading and axillary joints from here and check this option so that i may see the bones through the mesh like this now go to front view and set it here in perspective view i need to check on this option again from here x ray times now press ctrl a and name the joints i have made here so select this joint and name this l for left underscore hip left hip joint enter select this joint and again left knee Select this joint and left ankle. Next, left heel. Left ball. And for the last joint, the name will be left two. Okay. Now I have to duplicate it at the right side. So for this, I go to skeleton again, and this time I go to mirror joints from here and go to settings and uh, uh, check the option Y Z and orientation from here. And uh, I want to replace the letter L from R left to R so search for L underscore and replace with R underscore and mirror so now I have right hip right knee 
right angle, right heel, right ball and right toe. Now I am going to create bones for the middle portion. So for this I have to go again side view and go to skeleton and create joints again. I have to start from here uh, this time. Uh, so this is for root joint and this is for abs again for chest this is also for chest two joints for chest then for neck then for jaw somewhere here last one for the head so here enter name them so this is it will be root joint so root this is for abs these two will be the will be for this portion chest portion so we name them like uh, chest chest one and it will be chest two it will be for neck it will be head this and this one only head you can give the names according to your comfort so let me create now bones for hands now so for hands uh, to create uh, bones for hands uh, we have to go to top view this time press 4 so again i have to go skeleton create joints same first bone for the clavicle bone so somewhere here it will be clavicle bone this is for shoulders so this is for shoulders again for elbow this is for, for arm wrist and this is for palm enter go to front view and shift it exact at the right place here again i go to top view and uh, skeleton create joints so I have three fingers here including thumb I need to create four joints here so one two three four press Y for repeating the tool with the same settings so one two three four press Y repeating tool with the same settings and one two three four press enter <coughs> go to perspective view and select these joints with the shift and from front push them up to place at the right place like this so check it carefully so these joints should be placed like this yeah. Some joints are outside of the mesh. For this, what I need to do is select this joint and press B for this and press it down 
again select this joint and press D push it little bit down select it again press D and push it down like this we can check by of this and check make sure any joint will not bounce in the mash so this shading again and exit joints so name them also so select this and it will be clavicle so left and clavicle left underscore elbow left underscore forearm left underscore wrist left underscore these bones for a thumb and these are for index finger and it will be pinky finger for this hand this palm so thumb one two three four so left thumb one c control v and two control V underscore three control V underscore four left underscore index underscore four or underscore control C Control V three two one. Select this pinky finger. So pinky control C. Select this joint, control V, 3, select this joint, control V again, and 2, select this joint, control V, 1. Uh, I have to re rename them again, this it will be 4, it will be Three, two, two, three. Now what I need to do here, uh, select these two joints and shift this joint and now press P. What I did here, uh, add it and P. Now here, select this joint and this joint and press P now select these two joints and this joint and press P now this joint select this joint and this joint P and now I need to duplicate it here so select this joint and go to skeleton mirror joints again with the same settings so mirror so i have created a bone setup for this character here so in the next lesson we will apply ik handles in it so keep watching guys